Hey everybody, it's Amanda Moxley. Dude, are, have you had enough of money drama? Seriously, are you in your own way all the time? Are you sabotaging yourself because of your money drama? Money drama looks like this. You have a pit of fear in your stomach. You're, you have anxiety about money. You have up and down relationships with money. You sometimes have a lot and you feel so good and then you might blow it or you spend it or it's gone and you have no way of tracking it or being in communication or intimacy with it. And then you're in this fear state and then you're like, how am I gonna get it? How am I gonna get it? And then you're like feeling like you're like grasping and you're pushing and you're working too hard. And then you have it and that same cycle happens again. Well, that was the way I used to be too. I was seriously, I had this money drama. I was in a roller coaster. And the way I was with food and the way I was with money were very similar lives. How, they say how you do one thing is how you do everything. <sighs> but one time I woke up after seeing this, you know, my bank account would go down to 200 bucks like all the time. It would be, that was like my threshold. So what's your threshold? What is your number that you go down to? So my, my bank account would just, you know, dip down to 200. And, and this is even when I was making six figures, but even before that, you know, the same thing, right? So even at making six figures, I was still like, you know, starve myself down to the 200 bucks. And then I finally said enough when I saw this pattern and I said, Oh my God, this is a pattern. I didn't even realize I had this pattern. So that's what I want you to realize is, Oh my God, you could have a pattern. So what's your pattern? Like, what is it that you, what is your cycle with money? What is your feast point and what is your famine point? And knowing those two points is really important. The next point here is you have to decide once you have that awareness, like, Oh my God, this is a pattern. Then you're able to say, I'm done. Like I've gleaned the lessons from this pattern. I know that this experience and I'm uh, no longer available for this feast or famine mentality and relationship with money. So I want to invite you to join me for the call I'm doing in a, in a few weeks and really decide right now, like let's stir the cauldron. Let's get really focused and potent and powerful that yes, so declare with me right now, I am putting a fork in it. I am done, capital D, put a F in it, put a fork in it with this money drama. And I am ready to open up and receive my abundance, my joy, my beauty, and to be able to serve and to give my love in a way that is going to benefit the entire planet and raise the consciousness of the entire planet. You see, when we're stuck in this feast or famine mentality and we're stuck in making it, we're stuck in making it all about you. You're in your own way and you were truly born to really ignite your passion and your purpose and to be in abundance. Just look at where I am right now. I'm in this gorgeous place in nature. Look at that, that mountain. This, there is no lack here. There is no feast or famine over here. You know, it is all about abundance. This is an abundant universe. <laughs> and I really want to set you to that new frequency. So I really hope you like this tip today, which is recognize your cycle. You know, what is your high point for your feast? You know, how good can you stand it? What's a high point? Maybe the most money you've ever made. And then what's the lowest that you drop yourself down to? And then really come together, get very clear that seriously, you're no longer available, unavailable for this feast or famine roller coaster. You're no longer available to struggle financially and you are available to thrive, to release your divine gifts and talents and to be in a very affluent, abundant and beautiful way of being and lifestyle from this moment forward. <sighs> Really, that's what happened to me once I put an F in it, put an F and fork in it. So that's what I want for you. I'll see you on the call in a few weeks. Bring your questions. Be there. I got some good stuff to share. Like, seriously, you're going to check out what all these other women have gone through once they put a fork in it. When you're going to hear what they've done and what I've done, you're going to be inspired. And truth is, it's your turn now. All right. So I'll see you then. Have a good night.